The first step in deciding which NITI system to use is to decide is it predictable. Hi, I'm John West and I'd like to welcome you to this presentation on the new ProTaper Gold. You know, I've been a clinician and an educator for over 35 years. And without a doubt, the question that comes up number one all the time is what NITI system do you use to make those elegant shapes and create those obturations and fill all those portals of exit? Well, you know as well as I do, over the last 15 years, NITI systems have come and gone, and mostly they've gone. However, the most recognizable and foremost name in NITI shaping remains ProTaper. The system is simple, it's reproducible, it's transferable, it's efficient, and it works. So let's get started and I'll show you what I mean. The example I've chosen to showcase the new, improved, and advanced ProTaper Gold and to demonstrate the predictability and safety in performance of ProTaper Gold is a maxillary molar with a double S turn. The canal and root, of course, go buckle and they also slide distally. The arrow points to the actual position of the portal of exit. So the great test for gold will be to see if we can preserve this position. Two-dimensionally on the radiograph, we obviously can see one curve, but you and I know there's actually two curves to this patient's distal buccal canal. The distal buccal canal has a dentinal triangle, which absolutely needs to be removed in order to have straight line access. So we pre-curve a 10 file to make it a smart file. And in a sea of sodium hypochlorite, slide into the distal buckle simply to explore, investigate. We're not in a hurry. We're looking for booby traps. We're looking for local knowledge. And what we're discovering early is the dentinal triangle is restrictive. So without attempting to go deeper or beyond that dentinal triangle, we bring in the rotary system to remove the triangle and then to shape and make a final preparation. So meet our new best friends. ProTaper Gold is exactly the same as ProTaper Universal with these exceptions. They are made of an advanced metallurgy which allows them to be more flexible and more resistant to cyclic fatigue. They literally want to crawl around glide paths. The handles are also shorter for increased visibility. SX is an auxiliary shaper designed to remove restricted dentin and it has exaggerated progressive geometries. Shaper 1 and Shaper 2 remove the coronal and middle restrictive dentin in the glide path established canal. Meanwhile, the finishers 1, 2, and 3 simply connect the dots as finishing instruments for the preparation for a cone fit and easy obturation. So back to our patient. We want to remove that triangle so that we have unfettered access into the distal buckle and we can float, follow, and brush our way there with the SX. So we brush and follow, brush and follow, and brush and follow. So we simply paint away that dentinal triangle. And you can see the dentin that we've removed from that triangle in the blades of the SX. So instead of now the dentinal triangle, we have a tunnel that we can easily follow. Step two is to irrigate with full strength sodium hypochlorite, which will put any dentin mud into suspension so we can easily re recapitulate and remove it. Remember, dentin mud and collagen are the fatal flaws of endodontics. Sodium hypochlorite will digest detached collagen and so irrigation is an absolute must and you can't do enough of it. Once we have thoroughly irrigated the chamber and the coronal portion of the canal, what's next? Well, what's next is to imagine ourselves arriving at the radiographic terminus of the 10 file. Take a deep breath, relax, curve the file from the shaft to the very tip. This makes again a smart file. 
Then, by simply slipping and sliding into the now unfettered orifice again, we can see that with restraint and without pushing, we simply are able to follow easily this double S curve to the radiographic terminus, which we know is slightly beyond the physiologic terminus, which is the exact position we want to be at to make a glide path, because we want to stay patent, otherwise the apical area will be clogged and will be short of the mark. Radiographically, we can see clear evidence that the file is beyond the radiographic terminus and can be further validated by the apex locator. What is a glide path? How do we make it? A glide path is a super duper, unbelievably loose tin validating a smooth tunnel from the orifice to the apex. So it is a smooth tunnel from orifice to apex. It could be short. If it could be curved, it could be multiple curves. Nitai doesn't care as long as the walls are smooth. So in vertical strokes, increasing amplitude over the traveling distance of the apical third, the tin file is followed and withdrawn until it is loose as a goose and we literally own the glide path. Some colleagues prefer to expand the glide path with a number 15 file or the new ProGlider, which is a single mechanical baby pro taper that can very successfully expand the glide path for any NITI system, including reciprocation. Well, it's time to remove restrictive dentin and connect the dots. So purple S1 watchwords are brush and follow, brush and follow to length. So brush and follow, brush and follow, brush and follow. You might want to say that to yourself. Notice the restrictive dentin is removed. Then we bring in S2, purple, white, yellow, red. So white, S2. Again, the watchwords are brush and follow. Brush and follow. No pressure really at all, just the weight of the handpiece. Brush and follow. And the geometries are cutting where they need to cut to remove restricted dentin. Finisher one, yellow. The watchwords here are the reverse of the shapers. Finishers are instead follow and brush, follow and brush. In animation, this is literally what happens with the Pro Taper Gold. They want to crawl around smooth glide paths. It's a very confident and freeing feeling. And you've got to experience this yourself to know what I'm talking about. In animation, you can see the flutes are not full yet of dentin. And when we inspect the flutes outside of the tooth, we can see that we would have had false tug back because that shape does not yet exist. So this is our cue to progress with F2. What are the watchwords? Follow and brush follow and brush, follow and brush. And as you're experiencing Pro Taper Gold finishers particularly, you begin to understand the mastery of pace, rhythm, and flow. These instruments are designed to follow the next one. Notice the flutes are now filled with dentin, and in animation, we can see that that shape would exist and does exist. And as we look clinically on the actual file itself, we can see the same validation. We have verified the shape. Now when do we fit the cone? We fit the cone when we finish shaping. When do we finish shaping? When the flutes are filled with dentin. Special machine molded gutta percha cones are followed to length and we can check the apparent length against our finisher. And you can see it's quite close. We can do the same thing with the verifier in a carrier base obturation. This is designed for vertical compaction of warm gutta percha. And what we can do clinically, which we can't do, of course, in the mouth, 
is to observe that the position of the gutta percha cone fit, round peg into a square hole, is exactly where the original foramen was. And if we were to look at the root from the side, we would see radiographically that cone fits exactly at the radiographic terminus. Cone fit is a unique art in itself. The longer, more curved, and thinner the canals, the closer one wants to fit the cone. The straighter, wider, and shorter the canals, the further away the cone fits. So what would I do here? I would cut this typically back one millimeter for a vertical compaction of warm gutta percha. And if you're making a carrier base, you would make your length one millimeter short of that finisher that we used to transfer the length a moment ago. So there you have it. The predictability, safety, and simplicity of Pro Taper Gold. Shapers for shaping, finishers for finishing. And now it's your turn to experience and feel what I'm feeling. The treatment technique tip card is extremely valuable to review what we've talked about in terms of shapers and finishers. But the main thing that's important to remember is the distinction of the two words. For the shapers, remember brush, follow, brush, follow, brush, follow. For the finishers, on the other hand, it's just the reverse. Follow brush, follow brush, follow brush. Nothing really has, in my experience, replicated the feeling that I've gotten following Pro Taper Gold down a canal. And I've discovered a newfound level of competence and consistency and confidence that I never knew before. You know, I look forward to talking with each of you in the future about mastering the skill of shaping. And I invite you to have your own gold medal experiences and performances. Pro Taper Gold is a game changer. It's changed my game, and I'm not going to be happy until it changes yours.